Well, hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've come out this week to take a picture of this thing. It's called the Gormeyer Refuge Stone. Um, we're at a place called, or near a place called Terfecken, which is just over there by about maybe half a mile or so. And we're also just a few hundred yards away from Lockcourt Reservoir, which is just over the hill behind me here, uh, where I was a couple of weeks ago, if you recall. So yeah, we've come along here to get a picture of the stone. Now it's called the Refuge Stone because there's a church across in Terfecken. It's the remains of an old 12th century church. It was uh, owned by the, the Knights of St. John. Um, and this refuge stone was placed by them. There's four of them. There's one here. There's one up on Witch Creek Hill, which is just over behind the camera there somewhere. There's one over in that direction in a village called Westfield. And there's another one kind of over that way in the middle of the countryside somewhere in the shape of a cross. Uh, the reason for this is because if you were a criminal, a murderer or a robber or whatever back in the 12th century, um, and you're on the run from the law, you would come along here and you would get within the boundaries of the stone. So you were within the grounds of this preceptory, um, at which point you were immune from the law. You're immune from all these guys chasing you. You couldn't be put to death or whatnot, you know? And you would be judged by God. That was the general idea. So these guys would come along and judge you and probably get you to join their order or something like that and you wouldn't be allowed to leave again, so take your pick. Anyway, that's what that was for. This is the boundary. This is me, not safe. Safe. Didn't kill anyone, but it's okay. Anyway, so yes, like I say, what I want to do is uh, get a picture of this stone with the sun going down in front of us here. Now, I've got my camera set up. It's really, really low. And what I want to do is actually catch it with the sun in the picture, uh, just on the horizon there. Now I'm using, if I switch the movie on again here, I've got my camera right down at F22, the lens rather, F22. Now if I put that movie on there, the sun is looking quite, um, what's the word? That kind of starburst is not very nice and there's some kind of a uh, lens flare as well, which I don't really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my usual, this is my 1670 zoom lens that I usually use. And I'm going to swap that over for a 16 millimeter prime, uh, which I don't usually carry it about with me, if I'm absolutely honest, because it's just extra weight. I've got a few lenses I don't carry around, but I brought this one specially because I knew I'd be shooting directly into the sun. It gives a nice, a nice starburst. Right, well, as you can see, that's, uh, that's us all set up now with the, uh, the 16 mil lens, prime lens on the front of it, uh, pointing directly into the sun. So we're going to get a, a lovely kind of uh, flare here, as you can see, just in the corner here, right? Uh, now, obviously what I'm aiming for here, I wonder if I can actually bring that down just a tad there-ish. And I'll get the sun more or less on the rule of thirds, and I've got the stone over here on the other rule of thirds. Uh, now I've got the camera really down low as you can see, and that is just so that we can poke it up above the horizon, have something interesting happening up there in the sky. So now all I need to do, I really want it kind of at sunset. Uh, all I need to do now is, is wait. Uh, I should maybe say I am taking this picture bracketed because as you can see here, the, the back of the stone is just, you know, in shadow, can't see a thing. So I'll bracket it, so we'll get the brightness of the sun, we'll get some detail on the back of the stone, we'll should get some interesting stuff going on in the grass. Um, yeah, so it's just now a matter of waiting. So that's us, I've been waiting for about maybe 10 minutes or so. Not too bad really, I mean I've arrived with uh, you know, just enough time to spare for once in my life. Um, I've allowed myself much time, as much time as I need. Now what we're starting to get now is, if I switch this, uh, switch the movie on, 
you can see that we're actually starting to get the sun is just hitting the horizon line there now it's not in this particular case it's not a sunset because we've actually got a hill across here that's a hill so the sun isn't really going down yet it's just dipping behind that hill it's another another hour or so till sunset so uh, I'm not going to hang around for that even though it looks like it could be quite a nice one there's some nice clouds but no I've got things to do today's Christmas Eve believe it or not so I do have some Santa closing to do anyway yes yeah, so we are getting the, the sun here we're getting a, a nice room of light you can't really see it in the video here but there is a nice room of light just edging around the side of the stone here which uh, hopefully we'll catch in the finished picture so here we go switch that movie off okay and I shall just make sure that we're all focused up focusing on the stone and we shall go click And that's it. Like I said earlier on, it was only ever going to be a, a quick shot today, just the one picture. And uh, now I'm way off home again because I've got things to get on with. So I uh, hope you've had a good Christmas. This one should be going out between Christmas and New Year. So yeah, good Christmas. Uh, all that remains for me to do now is say, do the usual things that YouTubers like you to do, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. That'd be fantastic. I'd love to hear all your comments. I do like to hear what you, hear, what you think of all these pictures that I take, you know. Uh, and it does help the channel as well if you comment. So yeah, I'd really appreciate some comments. So yes, as I say, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I shall see you on the next one. Right. Bye for now.